Caitlin Clark, you know, she's just been this big phenomenon. And um, what kind of brought her even further into the limelight was she appeared on SNL last weekend and mm-hmm. she did a great job. She really, you know, didn't really, you know, uh, seem nervous. Or- no, no, with the material. And I know it's not a wheelhouse to be like funny like that, but uh, she did a good job. And of course, she's also in the headlines for she was recently drafted to the uh, Indiana Fever. Yep. WNBA, of course. And, um, of course, people are stirring the pot because they need news right now. But there's this big outrage about her salary. <clears throat> um, she's going to be getting 338000 in change over the ne- or four seasons. And a lot of people are comparing it to NBA players. And so, you know, I, I know it's kind of low-hanging fruit. Like, oh, it's because she's a woman. But... If you look at it, I've heard this explained before. It's, I mean, they're, it's, they're both business entities, and yeah. they all they all survive off of attendance and viewership. Right. And the problem is, it's all about selling tickets. The WNBA is not on that level yet, but I think with people like Clark, I know people. I'm even more interested in the WNBA now, and I haven't oh, been absolutely. since. I haven't been since they launched. Because that was exciting when they launched. Like, oh, they got their own, like, ball. It's got white and orange and, you know, all that. And then it just kind of faded away. But it still exists. So I think people like her will give it another shot. And potentially it could get better uh, ratings. I know a lot of people tuned into the draft that was – I'm talking, like, you know, young men tuned into it. They're just so – enamored with her and people are getting more invested yeah. into uh into basketball again I think yeah that's great. i mean we are um my my daughter plays softball and her coach actually got tickets and had to bail on one of the games and you know she has backup coaches oh, yeah. but she's like i'm not gonna blow this opportunity like my people i know my like parents went play. to see her so yeah she's entertaining it's so a big deal she's gonna bring yeah. eyes and ears to the to the sport right. yeah. yeah i'm very she she i'm, I'm wondering what her decision making was on that because Ice Cube has his three on three league. Yeah. And he had offered her five million. Really? Yeah. Wow. To be the face of what he wanted to start up. Yeah. Females division of sure. three on sure. three. Yeah. And yeah. I and I and I guess in long term it's more incentivized. She probably might get more sponsorships and yeah. everything else, but I'd have just well, that's the thing. She's Taking not a check and yeah, she's not suffering. And then this might be why she didn't go that route. She has a twenty million dollar Nike deal. They're gonna make a shoe for her, so she's gonna be just fine. I know a lot of people are focusing on her well, salary. She's, she's gonna be fine. Like I mean, Gatorade you know, the Nike stuff. contract yeah, alone. As long as she doesn't like get controversial and do some shit, yeah. she's, she's gonna be fine. Iowa, you know, they're on this high, right? Getting all this attendance. It's like, man, it's gonna be a. I think it's gonna be well. It might not be a quick drop because the beginning of the season will be excitement and if they will live up to that mm-hmm. but you know it's it sucks when it's like i just hope they're not dependable like yeah we're gonna you're gonna get in this much people next season like nope not well, if she's not there i think des moines needs like a professional team yeah i mean we have the um minor league team would you call it uh the, what are they called uh, the it's not the wild that's hockey yeah, well, yeah, I mean, we do got minor league. Team. We got the Wild. We got that Thunder Stormers. or something we got, like that. Uh, basketball wise, I'm not sure. We do have a basketball though. We have a basketball I one. Can't I can't remember, remember what it's called. But I'll insert it right here. I'm not a huge but, basketball. But I'm even looking no. at like college sports in general. Yeah, yeah. When uh, the last time like the University of Iowa went to the Orange Bowl. Yeah. I lived in Iowa City at the time. Yeah. And we went down to Florida in droves. Yeah. I mean, it was. Yeah. And like anytime there's like a major major game. Yeah, we show up and and kind of like more than Green Bay. I know Green Bay is like one of the towns mm-hmm. where football kind of originated. At, yeah, yeah. You know, one of the first. But I'm like, I think we are we travel more. Yeah. So like, if they yeah. came and brought like a expansion team, like yeah. a football yeah. team, like the yeah. Iowa Sharks or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You well, know? yeah. Like, Women's basketball this year, especially, definitely put us on the map. We yeah. Have, um, one of Caitlin Clark's teammates has been offered WNBA contract as well. Awesome. Um, and there was a <clears throat> woman on the Cyclones team, I believe, that oh, was cool. getting all sorts of yeah. notoriety and stuff like that. It's I'm all for it, man. I don't great. care. Hey, just talent, talent is talent, and um, yeah, I, they need more people like that. You know, I, I, you know, maybe we get back to the days where because I don't even know. I don't follow basketball either, but you know, back in when I was young, it was Jordan, Barkley, yeah, Pippen. I mean, everybody, thing. yeah, 
Even Rodman, sort of. I, I mean, Rodman. I wasn't completely yeah. Rodman, but I was intrigued by him. Oh, yeah. 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 Saw his movie, Double Team. Is that what it was, it was called? More yeah. It was more entertaining. Yeah, yeah. But, but like, you know, yeah. I get what we they need were powerhouses doing. like that again, and she's one well, of them. The and, rules have kind of changed. Yeah, of course. Things. Yeah. Like, especially with basketball. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I, I get it, and it should be done that way. Yeah. To an extent. But basketball used to be a little bit more violent, for lack mm. of a better word. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. You couldn't just run, yeah, and a layup and not catch an elbow. Yeah, You're not right. The, yeah. the games are smaller. There like, wouldn't be no have, like, foul 88. or penalty. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the point system would be like eighty eight to eighty two yeah. would be yeah. like a game. Yeah, now yeah. you're getting like hundred points games because now if you just breathe on the guy wrong, yeah, right, you know, oh, you get foul. Yeah, yeah, more guys right. falling falling out. I don't know statistics on that. I'm just saying, yeah, of course. When yeah. I watch it, it just seems less aggressive. It seems more finesse. Yeah, and there needs to be a balance there. That's of course, just my it's all about yeah. When it comes down to it, it's all about balance and it's, mm -hmm. for anything really, it's balance. That's the true key to mm -hmm. everything. But um, also, her New Jersey sold out too instantly. She got the number twenty two. Which is the number she had? For oh, you talking about for a professional team? Yes, oh, yes. Nice. And they did retire her jersey at, in Iowa City, I believe. So yeah, yeah. As very, very cool. Yes, As they should. Very, very cool. And um, so yeah, I'm excited for her. And I, yeah, I think this whole pay dispute's kind of bullshit. I mean, I get the temptations to rile up, you know, the sexes and stuff, but it's like, no, that, you know, one thing first, let's get viewership attendance. Well, then if it's still like that, that's a problem. Who else know? are you going to make the face of the WNBA? Brittany Griner? <laughs> yeah, no like, shit. Come on. She, she's mm. still playing for them, right? I don't fucking know. Uh, she's doing something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, she, that's what she does. Something. But I will say this. It's <laughs> been a big year, like, yeah. not just basketball wise, yeah. but it's been a big year for Iowa sports wise. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Brock Purdy, Yes. in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. You know, his jersey was selling like yeah. crazy out there, too. You know, not to diminish Caitlin Clark. Oh, right, she's right. phenomenal. Yeah. Well, it just goes to show you, like, we're not the only cool people in this state. There's other people, so she, consider that. If anything, they made people care about women's basketball. Yeah. And I, there's I nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was fantastic. I saw so many posts. I mean, one from a... Uh, a mom, you know, who has a kid in uh, class is my daughter, and uh, he was watching the draft, and it's like that's something, man. That's really yeah. something. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I think it's great. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, um, you can speak on this. I mean, being a girl dad. Yeah. Like, I just, I I'm seeing this even with like my nieces or yeah young ladies that I see out. Like, I haven't seen girls kind of gravitate to something like this yeah. in a long while, and it's and it's a pure yeah population like. Because yeah. sometimes when we have this battle of the sexes, yeah, boys are this and girls are that. Yeah, right, right. Someone's got to down the other side. This is pure. It has none. Yeah. It's not about downing anyone. It's right. just like she's inspiring Everyone's young seeing her. Everyone's going yeah. to the games. Yeah. And like, uh, I like watching her play. Yeah. Like, yeah. so, yeah. and I don't watch basketball that much. I don't anymore. either, but I'll watch... I'll watch yeah. Caitlin Kirk. Cause that's powerful team, though. Right? Like if someone yeah. like that can get you into it, like that's, yeah. that's what you strive for. I mean, mm -hmm. if you have a, a team, you want someone like that. And yeah, yeah you exactly. Inspiring. And yeah. it kind of sucks that she didn't win a championship because yeah, it would have been like, you know, it's right. like poetic justice type thing. I think it know? also kind of made her human too. If that was a problem, you know, like she's like too perfect, you know, it kind of just showed like, yeah, sometimes you can be great and you're going to lose and it's, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. You move on and she moved on and she's, yeah. she's going to be fine. She's okay. I'm, I'm just saying it's like, yeah, I get it. You though. want your heroes to win. Yeah, too. I know. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. It's the icing yeah. on the cake, which is probably why I'm not a, a huge sports fan because if I am invested, holy fuck, I hate, I hate myself. Cause I'm like, yeah. I get so stressed out. It's like, Oh my God.